Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I'm building in the new world of Ciudad and Emirata for two sims that I believe are just roommates, they're friends, and they are both single and they are on the dating scene. So they have, I assume they have rented this house. I did not make it as a rental, but I'm going to just imagine in my mind that they have rented this house and they are splitting the rent between the two of them. And they have a large villa, a very large villa with lots of different kind of home dating spots where they can invite people over for like get to know you dates, lots of little chill zones, throughout there's a bar there is a pretty large kitchen there are multiple spots all across the property for just getting to know different sims and dating around which i think these sims are very into I'm not sure what their occupations are because i didn't get that far but towards the end of the video i will show you the sims that i picked because i did go on the gallery and grab two sims to fit this style and they were just perfect they were exactly what i was looking for so kudos to that gallery id who I will mention when I bring up the footage of me picking them. <laughs> so that'll be towards the end of the video, but you just saw me make a very large number of boxes and connect them. That is the blueprint for how I make homes. If I don't have an inspiration image, I just make a bunch of boxes until it looks okay. And I really wanted to go for this like multi-level home with a slight flat roof up at the top. And then the one section of roof has like a water collector system or like a water filtration system up at the top and that is where one of the dating areas is and at first I decided on this pink and red theme for the outside of the home and the trim but I do end up changing the wallpaper on the outside just a little bit and then the upper level has kind of like a bluish tone to it so you'll see that later on I also picked out this lovely pergola which is base game it came with an update a few years ago and it, I think it pairs so nicely with the colors that I chose I really like this like dark red almost burgundy kind of feel with the terracotta steps and tile and I just thought it looked perfect it was just what I was looking for so everything kind of fell into place really nicely for me on this one thank goodness and then I started off on the back so I did add some columns from for rent because I thought the colors on those worked really nicely as well slightly different feel but pretty much the same color scheme and then I worked on the floor plan we have a nice little entryway slash mudroom area these new arches that came with the new pack which are nice and skinny and then I pulled out all of these windows that came with a new pack because I hadn't really had a chance to look at them all yet all out in next to each other so I really wanted to just kind of lay them out and see which ones I wanted to use and I did decide on a black trim for those windows and then back here we have another door and window set from for rent these windows are kind of shuttered so you can open or close them I would imagine but I kept them in the closed position for this build because I thought that it didn't really need too much more light over there and also gives a little privacy to the backyard space and then upstairs I had a really hard time figuring out the stair orientation and where the rooms were going to go up here but I do make it work in the end you'll just see I'm going to come back to this later on so I'm only going to show you a little bit of the upstairs I hadn't quite figured it out yet but I did know I needed two bedrooms up here and the one bedroom has an ensuite bathroom which is very cool and kind of dark and moody so I hope that you enjoy that I had a lot of fun playing around with the new wallpaper and flooring that came and also with the showers with the new like built-in showers you can make with the glass shower doors oh Oh my gosh I did two of those in this build I did one downstairs and also in the ensuite upstairs this bedroom here does get the heart bed the vibrating heart bed in the leopard print and like the burgundy red color because I just really enjoyed that swatch and I really wanted to use it so she gets that room and then the other room has another bed from love struck but it's a different one it's more of a light pinky tone this is just a little bit of me trying to figure out the layout of this bathroom I did pick out just a simple toilet and then also this base game sink which I don't think I've ever used but I think that it's kind of modern and fits the vibe that I was going for for this bathroom here you'll see I'm adding the shower door that came with love struck and then I just take this little room and I raise it up one click because I wanted it to be kind of like a step up to get into the shower which I think makes a lot of sense and then here's this beautiful tile I have going in with the matching floor tile in the shower itself it has those pretty mosaic floors right in the middle of the terracotta but then the rest is just this dark 
kind of purpley mauve. I don't know what this color is, but I love it. I love it so much for that bathroom. And then over here, like I said, is the other roommate's room. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter, not quite so dark and red and black and moody. There's that little water collector up on top of the roof that I spoke about. And then a little house number out on the front porch. And then in here in the living room, I had a lot of space to work with. So I pulled out the big couch from Island Living and also the very large TV from City Living and the console table that came with Jungle Adventure as well as these end tables. One more little easy chair from Island Living as well. I really liked that kind of coral and orange yellow kind of color scheme in here. So I was kind of working with that for the rest of the room and then I did pick out uh, this lovely rug that came with Horse Ranch. It has so many nice swatches that work in so many different styles so very happy about that and also this plant that is base game in a nice blue pot. I was trying to figure out where everything was going to go and it gave me such a hard time. I did pick out a bar but I changed my mind and I went with this one instead which did also come with Love Struck and it also came with a matching bar back which I thought was just a little bit more fitting. It's a little bit more fun and youthful and I put this lovely little plant over top and it doesn't have any lights in it which kind of perturbed me. I wish that it had a light or two because it's kind of a dark space where it is right in the middle of the room but later on I do add some saucer lights in where it meets the ceiling so it's kind of hidden over here there's also a little games table with that new like woohoo game I put that on there and some hanging artwork and also some hanging wall plants and then over here I'm picking out the curtains I use these from for rent as well because I thought they were kind of fun and gave like a pop of red and they kind of went with the color of the couch and it offset the blue and then also this yellow wallpaper that came with Love Struck. I just love all the colors that came on the swatches of wallpaper and tile for the floor and also the furniture for this pack. I just think that it was is really, really fun. It's definitely a fun pack for colors and different styles of building, which I don't really branch out on too much so I was excited to give it a shot over here I also have a little hanging bookshelf from eco lifestyle and I do add a little set of candles to that but otherwise it's pretty simple I pretty much left it empty in case you wanted to put any collectibles or if you're playing in this home and you have anything in particular you want to put on there totally up to you and then over here on this end table I pick out the lamp from the modern Lux kit and also another flower from lovestruck and then also a little set of dirty coffee mugs. Maybe that's where they sit and have their morning coffee and they just kind of leave their mugs there. And these overhead chandelier type lights are from Jungle Adventure as well. You can see the room is a little bit dark, so I did have to add some supplemental lighting. But for now, I'm adding that little lips love seat and the little heart easy chair just because I thought that was so fun and very youthful and very colorful. And that's kind of what I was going for for this. Here's some candles going on that shelf, like I said, and some more plants over here in the corner. Corner. I was just trying to put a plant in every area I could. Also, I love this new coffee table that we got. So I put a little debug remote on it just to kind of fill up the space. Mostly this living room is pretty uncluttered though. I wanted it to be very accessible so that your Sims could like sit on the couch and cuddle with their date and watch a movie or watch TV together. I didn't want it to be too cramped. And then over here, this other little conversation area, I just put this new fluffy rug down and it does match the chairs. And also this rug, this fluffy rug from high school years I sized it up a little bit with tool mod to fit underneath that games table and it looks so nice there and over here we have our little downstairs bathroom and by little I do mean little it's very tiny but we have the sink from jungle adventure and then I add another one of these showers it has two shower heads and it is risen up one click and then I also use this door one more time and also the window that came with it so that it all matches up. I was thinking about using the foggy glass that came with it. I think that that's really nice because it's a little bit of privacy. You are in the downstairs bathroom after all. It's not like in the bedroom like the ensuite is. So I think down here having a little privacy is key. Also some blue tile inside the shower and then the terracotta just repeated all throughout the rest of this area. Switched out the toilet for the one that I love the most and then my bathroom clutter stuff some towels on the wall, a little hand towel next to the sink. I also add a robe hanging on the wall here. I think it might be two robes I put on the wall just for good measure because there are two shower heads. So there probably should be two robes. And this base game green towel, I just love that so much. And then I think I do pick out a little rug for in front of the shower. This one is also from Jungle Adventure in a lot of fun colors and patterns. And the little light I use inside the shower is this one from high school years. I just size it down a bunch. And then more of these growing together wall lights, I kind of spread those throughout because again, it was kind of dark in this room and I didn't want it to be too, too dark. And then this lovely wall shelf is from Paranormal Stuff Pack. 
and I used the other shelf that came with the Dream Home Decorator Pack to position this little selection of towels right where that shelf is because I had to size the shelf down and it just wanted to slot to you know the actual slotted spot that gave me a little trouble but it's so cute in the end and then we're going to work here in the kitchen more jungle adventure for the counters and the upper head cabinets and the sink and also the stove and i just kind of worked all of these cabinet pieces around until i found an orientation that i liked this kitchen is actually quite large and over here is the stove and i pick out a lovely window a lovely open window to go behind the stove so I think that's really nice I also mess with the stairs quite a bit so you will see that change again but for now we are just picking out the jungle adventure wallpaper that is on the wall and also the terracotta flooring up here is where I had to mess with the fencing again because I finally figured out the stair configuration and it does leave a little tiny square over to the side that is just there it is not connected to the steps so that ends up being kind of an extension of the upper floor like deck space which you will see very shortly but it gives more room in the kitchen for this island and some seating in the kitchen itself there's plenty of outdoor dining there's plenty of spaces to eat in the living room and the bar area but i wanted there to be some space to eat in the kitchen like for the morning having your morning coffee or something here i am adding a archway to lead from the outside to just this little spot here i think i end up putting a nice little like chaise lounge from the dream home decorator pack in there just like a little spot to chill maybe it's too hot outside you just want to come in for a minute and relax or take a nap i thought it was a nice spot just looked very very chill and relaxing and then placing more of these lovely windows because i just wanted to give the full effect now here we're going to work on the red and leopard print bedroom here we're adding a lot of these big curtains that came with love struck and a lot of candles i decided on the wallpaper to be this darker red one from jungle adventure as well it has like a stucco kind of texture to it and i thought that was really nice and then i added a big rug again from love struck in this cream tone to kind of go with the cream in the leopard print bedspread i thought that that worked really nice and a little dresser from base game and of course the chest of costumes that goes over here pulled out an end table from growing together and then a little speaker in case you want to do some seductive dancing you might need a little bit of music i thought that was fitting and some debug uh, bouquets to go on that table just to give it a little bit more moodiness and then the jungle adventure mirror obviously because it is the perfect mirror for this room and then I believe I also add a different ceiling light. This one from Modern Lux in this very kind of swirly, whimsical, fun shape. I thought that was a nice idea. It's also kind of a heart shape if you look at it. It's like a melted heart. And then we have a candle also going on this little table over here just because I wanted it to look like a special little adornment on the table for this room and then we have some wall lights going in these are also from growing together they're the globe lights that i love so much and i think they fit this room really well and that's pretty much it for that red and leopard print bedroom now we're going to jump back to the kitchen because i am terrible and that is what i do but we have a trash can going in and a bunch more lighting also this base game uh chandelier hanging just over the island because I wanted it to have a little bit more light in there. And then over here in the bedroom, we have this lovely floral wallpaper with the plain paint going on the other walls and this light from Lovestruck. It's just very fun. Again, very youthful, very bright, very simple. That is just kind of how I wanted it to go. And then more of this modern Lux stuff. So the dresser and the end table lights are from modern Lux, as well as this little like purse with some makeup falling out of it. I thought that was nice. And they also have a vanity table in here from modern Lux because I really wanted it to have like that kind of rose gold accent on everything in here. There's also a standing mirror that I did not show on camera, but it is over in the corner because I wanted her to have a little mirror in here to get ready. I do also end up putting a mirror behind the dresser. Her, that is neither here nor there she has many mirrors and that's okay also the vanity is a mirror itself so and here's these end tables going in next to the bed to match all of the other furniture i think this sim is very matchy matchy and likes to keep everything in a set so i thought that'd be nice and those little tiny lantern lights from love struck i thought would be perfect on the end table because they weren't so clunky and she already had enough of those modern lux lights scattered around her room so maybe just another simple light also cute little penguin stuffy for no reason whatsoever i just like it and a lovely painting up here on the wall to fill up this wall space honestly because it was just a very large wall with nothing on it some more plants some more lights and also the chair from modern lux is up against the vanity now we are out in the hallway and i'm adding 
adding a little chess table just because there can be another activity that your sims can do together and a little ceiling fan right up here because I think that would be nice to kind of rotate some air around this home. Now here in the entryway, we are going to work on just a little seating area, a little mudroom space. We have the cabinet from Crystal Creations going in. I love that blue tone. And then the mirror from Love Struck going up on the wall. Some more of these hanging wall plants and then some curtains from the Movie Hangout Stuff Pack. I just kind of put that there because it was fun and colorful and I thought that it was nice on that window. And then we have another chair from Love Struck, little coat rack and some empty picture frames over here on the wall in yellow and blue. Again, just trying to bring in all of the colors from like the stained glass on the windows and from the rest of the home. And then here are some lovely lanterns we're placing in the corner. Those are also from for rent. I think that they're really pretty and I haven't really had a chance to use them exclusively. So I use them in this room and then I put some shoes over by the door as well. And underneath the shoes, I do place a little mat. It's actually like the dog food bowl mat that came with cats and dogs but I think it looks really nice as a shoe mat as well. So I just kind of pick a gray neutral color. Out front we have a little welcome mat that is from For Rent, and then right here at the door I use this very lovely rug that came with Love Struck as well. One more plant in the corner. And then off camera I did add a thermostat to the hallway so that you could change the temperature in the home. I just hadn't done it yet. <laughs> Here's those lights going in where this hanging plant is just above the bar because I thought that was necessary. And some simple curtains going in the kitchen, just a little red one over there on that little window, adding the sink to this side. I do switch it eventually because I do add the dishwasher from Home Chef Hustle as well. So I wanted to move that one over to the side. Also the new coffee maker from the Cozy Bistro kit. And then one more red curtain here. This is the base game red curtain. And I think I may have placed that before we got the matching uh, swatches like the swatch update so that's kind of exciting I was very very happy about all the swatches that we got I hope that you guys enjoyed them too I've been having fun just kind of messing around with them and seeing how the new swatches affect my build style because that does happen here's some clutter going around the stove though we have some cooking utensils and also this new range hood which is from the recolors so that is really fun I used the black one because I hadn't had a chance to use that one and I wanted to give it a shot and then up here in the hallway we are repeating the same curtains that I used downstairs and some more of this lighting on the wall like the one I used in the entryway and then I believe I had one more plant here in the corner because just a little fern because I just thought it looked pretty I like to place plants wherever I can't figure out <laughs> what else to go there and then we have a wall painting and here's that little chase lounge right here in this little entryway or this little doorway it's just a chill spot it's just a little hangout spot and then out here on this deck we have this table going in this is also base game from the same update that came with that pergola Pick out these lovely plastic chairs that came with for rent. I just kind of changed up the colors on them a little bit to make them a slightly different. And then out here we're adding this wooden pergola that came with Jungle Adventure. I thought that it fit here so nicely and I just changed it to that blue swatch to give a little bit more color out here. Also, I love these awnings that came with Jungle Adventure. I think they're perfect for this. So I added a bunch of those all over the place outside on these big upper windows. And now on the lower level, you'll see I have the little adornments over top of the big windows that came with love struck those are really pretty too so i thought having like the contrast of those adornments and then also the terracotta awnings with the tile on there i thought just looked so pretty up here you will see our first little date spot that i'm creating so we have the woohoo blanket or the stargazing blanket if you will and it is surrounded by rose petals which are from city living we also have the little vip date bucket up here and a bunch of these candles that came with love struck i think they're really pretty also a little seat made of pillows and then i take the pillows we got with the login rewards and i just kind of position them back here and use tool mod to size some of them up to different sizes like alternating heights and I position them on the back wall and then I use tool mod to angle them back a little bit so it looks like they are leaning up against the wall in such a way that you could lounge there and look at the stars or hang out or talk with your date or something, whatever you prefer. But I did try to make sure they were not in the way so your Sims could... <clears throat> 
use the blanket as they see fit. And then I changed the swatch of all of those candles because I kind of liked the white in contrast with all of the other colors going on up here. But I think this spot is really pretty and really, really cute for a date. Also wanted to add a bunch of these hanging plants that came with Jungle Adventure all throughout the outside. So I just kind of place a bunch of these all along the roof line and kind of to like blend in the rest of the space. Also, we have some of these base game loungers. I chose the teal ones with the little pink flamingos on them just because they're pretty and also this little end table from paranormal stuff to put like a little candle and maybe some sunblock on just to have a spot for them to put their things while they are sunbathing out on the roof i thought it was a nice little touch now the backyard is huge there is a very large vast property attached to this home so i had a lot of filling it up to do you're going to see a whole bunch of it but we have this lovely fence that goes with the matching uh, gate finally i'm very excited about those we added some trash cans outside to get us started and this mailbox from for rent again in that lovely red tone i thought that looked so nice and then i decided to use just regular tile to make the walkway from the front door to the backyard and i alternated the tile so it wasn't all that same like mosaic -y with the tile right in the middle it's kind of different and then i chose a little low lying fence in this red tone to kind of map out where our planter boxes were going to go. I wanted lots of plants. I wanted it to be kind of sort of overgrown, but in a very intentional way. And then this big square gets a tree in it later on. So that's what I was trying to do. I was just trying to figure out where are all of our plants going to go, or at least the vast majority of our plants. And that is where this fence came in very handy. So I grabbed some debug and live edit low lying plants from the love struck menu. And I just positioned them all together alternating between this red flowery one and also just the plain leafy green one added this lovely tree that came with love struck as well i had a hard time using the better build by and tool mod to select the uh, low-lying green plant with the eyedropper tool it would not let me but i could easily select other plants i just couldn't select that specific swatch with the green low-lying plant, and I'm not 100% sure why. So if you're also having that trouble and you use <laughs> the tool mod and better build by, it could just be an issue with that. I did try updating that mod, but nothing really changed. So who knows, we will find out later, <laughs> but we have more of these tall bromeliads going in as well. I put them kind of on some corners and some more of these low ferns just to give a little bit more interest. And then we have this lovely plant. I think that's the canna plant and then some big bushy bushes with some red flowers on them just to make the whole front of it just pop. I really like these big red flowers. Those came with Island Living and I use them pretty much all throughout, maybe like along most of the fences and stuff just to give a little bit of something to the build. And then I even use them over on this side. I do end up having to move that bush out a little bit. I didn't realize it was cutting into the interior. So you'll see that move out ever so slightly and I will have to reposition the trash cans, but otherwise, they are just fine right where they are and I very much enjoyed adding all this greenery. You'll also see up against the fence as I'm placing these plants here, these little bromeliads where the tree goes. I also did these plants that lead to the backyard where there is a pool. I just did that off camera because I pretty much repeated all the same plants and I didn't think you needed to see it over and over again. But we have a nice pool with some rounded edges all throughout. I just really like that. I wanted the opportunity to use this rounded pool and also the new pool trim. It came with Love Struck because I like the simple terracotta tile and I do continue the terracotta tile from the flooring in the rest of the home to the backyard because I just thought it was very cohesive and nice and I love that color. I really, really love that terracotta color in contrast with all the rest of the colors on this home. Now we're adding some pool ladders and I did use the new wallpaper for inside the pool as well and also the flooring. I just think it came together so nicely and on here I'm also adding some more flower boxes so I'm grabbing that same low-lying red fence and just mapping out where everything is going to go. I repeated pretty much the same plants over and over again so while you're watching me do that, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm very excited. I have almost 210 subscribers and I am working diligently on the Vesendad renovation. It is just taking me a little while because I'm not used to doing like a let's build style where I am speaking while I'm recording and then I have to go back and edit. And you know, sometimes I blunder and I stumble on my words. <laughs> 
it gets a little um, it gets a little difficult at times so I am working on that it is definitely challenging and it's new for me but I think that it'll come out really really nice in the end so I hope that you stay tuned for that it should be coming up soon but I really wanted to do this build in between because I was quite inspired by this world and seeing other creators build similar homes I just wanted to give it a shot because I haven't really had a chance to make a different build with this pack yet. I've just been thinking about the Vesendad build. So thank you very much for hearing my little rant, but you'll see I added a bunch of different plants. Also the new little fountain from Lovestruck. I put that in the middle of all those plants because I thought it looked really, really pretty. And then over here we have some more low lying plants going in on this side as well as some ferns. And then later on I add some lit up palm trees. The tiny ones you see there in the front will go away because they just don't look very nice. They're kind of low poly count. They don't light up like in the nighttime, you can't actually tell that they're lit, which it's very um, displeasing to me. So I didn't want that. I got the lit up trees that came, I believe they're with base game, but they're in the debug menu instead. And I very much enjoy those. So you will see that little change. Here I am adding some more red trees and some more terracotta flooring. And very, very shortly, you're gonna see me jump to where the whole backyard is almost done. We have all of our flower boxes in. I also grab these little selections of like forest plants I think that came with jungle adventure because I wanted to fill up some of the space a little bit more and I was getting kind of lazy to be honest I just wanted to fill up the space and I didn't want to have to place individual plants anymore so I grabbed those selections of plants that came in debug with jungle adventure and I just placed them where I thought it made sense and then I repeated some other stuff and I also added some regular custom flowers in there too to blend it in the rest of the way but this whole backyard is kind of like a twisting maze of different sections and I just find that very interesting we have some outdoor furniture going in from seasons over here I really like that bright blue in contrast with like the chocolatey wood tone so I throw on a lantern there from jungle adventure you'll also see another stargazing blanket over here but that gets moved eventually I'm also adding a lot of hedge fencing to kind of give some privacy to the Sims who are back here on their date. So I have repositioned that blanket and you will see more of that later, but I'm adding more plants to kind of blend in the empty space that was made when I put this little clump of plants together. It was a little, eh, it was a little annoying. But over here I found out that the candle slots to this blanket. And then I also added a little picnic basket. This is a very wholesome little stargazing area. You'll also see right here I added some planter boxes. I added the terrain paint. There's some dirt, there's some weeds, there's some flowers. Here's that little picnic basket and candle selection over here. I think that it came out super cute. We have more of these red flower bushes all throughout the back. And then over here we have a little lounge chair section right in front of the pool which came out so pretty and I was so pleased with it. I really very much enjoy the appeal of entering. And then there's also a hot tub over in the corner. We have a lovely dining space, outdoor dining space with a little tiny bar and a little umbrella over by the bar for you know bartenders to not overheat. And then over here we have another sitting area out back. We have this lovely rug from Laundry Day and more chairs and plants from Jungle Adventure. And this plant here that's in the space game Potter is actually the tiny little palm that came with for rent. I just sized it up and then positioned it inside of this pot. And I thought that it looked perfect right there. And it was a little different from all the other plants I used inside. Some more ornate pots and another little poof out here just to add some interest. Now up top here, this is our rooftop kind of stargazing woohoo spot. And then here on the lower level, we have the lounge chairs that you saw before. I also added some bar height tables from Tiny Living with little candles on them and the chairs from Desert Luxe. There's a little end table over here with a drinks tray that came with for rent. And then here's our little covered pergola space and some more lighting. I think that this space just came together so pretty. So I really hope you enjoyed it. And these are our single roommates that I picked up off the gallery. So I will pop up the user's name right here. I think they're so pretty. I ha did have to change some of their clothes because I didn't have all of the packs that they used, but that's okay. They were still perfect for what I was looking for. So again, kudos to this creator and I will link their gallery ID so you can check them out. But that is it for this build. Thank you so much for joining me here today. The ladies are outside on their front deck just enjoying 
the scenery and the sun is just starting to come up. You also see I added some more adornments to the front of the building after that recolor because I just wanted a little something extra. Again, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe. Tell your friends who like Sims videos also to hit that like and subscribe button because it really helps me out. And I had a lot of fun with this one. I really hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for joining me here today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Thank you.